Welcome to this Open University video tutorial designed to supplement the module T189 Digital Photography. In this tutorial, I'll be giving an overview of the Lightroom interface. Adobe Lightroom is a professional photographic workflow and library package that enables you to import, organize and develop your photographs while also providing powerful export and print functions. Lightroom is compatible with many different types of image file and is ideally suited to either JPEG or RAW workflow. The software works on either a Mac or Windows PC and the interfaces are largely identical between these two platforms. We will be using Macs throughout T189 video tutorials, but Windows users should see no significant differences. Using Lightroom, you will get used to the basic workflow. Import your images, organize in the library, develop, edit your images, export, save your images to the hard drive, emailing or print your images. The Lightroom workspace has two key menu areas. At the very top, you have the normal program toolbar with drop down menus. In the top right, you can see the module pickers for Library, Develop, Map, Book, Slideshow, Print, and Web. If you are using Lightroom 3, you will not have the Map and Book modules. Within T189, we only concentrate on the Library, Develop, Slideshow, and Print modules. Make sure you're in the library module. Do not worry about specifics of each area at this time, as we will go into detail as we use them later in the module. In the left hand panel, we have from the top the navigator gives a preview of an image, and you'll see how it can be used as a preview of possible changes to the main image later in the module. The catalogue area is where all the images are available for quick access. Additionally, you can also access the latest imported images. Folders is the area that mirrors the folder structure that you're using on your hard drive and have catalogued in Lightroom. When you import an image, it puts a link in the catalog that leaves the image in the location on the hard drive. Collection is the area where you can create custom or smart groupings of your images, like five stars, past month, etc. Published services is where you can configure your preferred social media sites such as Flickr and Facebook. Once configured, you can upload directly to these sites. In the right hand panel we have a histogram view which will be covered in detail as the module progresses. Quick develop is a quick edit area that we do not cover in the module because we want to encourage you to do more advanced edits in the develop module. Keywording and keyword lists can help organize your photographs, and this will be covered in the next tutorial on importing and organizing your images. The metadata section allows you to see what metadata is contained in your image, and also allows you to add information to the image like titles and copyright. The comments area is used by Lightroom to import comments that may have been given to you on sites like Flickr, but only when you have used Lightroom to post these images to Flickr in the first place. In the centre is the grid and image display area. This is where you can see a grid of all your images, a small selection of images, or alternatively, you can view a single image. This view can be controlled from the toolbar below, grid view and loop view. Also in the toolbar area, you have tools for marking and rating your images, which we will cover later. At the bottom is the film strip, which displays the images you are looking at in a particular folder or collection. We'll now click on the develop module. You'll notice the side panels change. On the left we still have the navigator, but underneath we now have presets which hold the collection of quick filters and colour adjustments. We'll look at these in more detail later in the module. Snapshots is for saved settings of a specific image. It is a way of saving several versions of the same image. These are virtual snapshots, not more real copies of that image, filling up your disk space. History is where every adjustment and action you do to an image is tracked. This will give you the ability to backtrack over changes. Lightroom is a non-destructive editing package, which means that any changes you make to an image are shown in the history and are saved as metadata. Your original images are unchanged physically until you export them outside of Lightroom. Collections provide access to the same collection you saw in the library module. The right hand panel is where the real magic is performed in editing your image. You have the histogram at the top and just below that you have access to editing tools like cropped and straighten. 
the basic panel is the place to start your editing. Tone Curve is a powerful method for control of brightness and contrast in an image. HSL, Color, Black and White are powerful tools for color specific adjustments. Split Toning, which allows you to tint specific tonal areas of your image. Detail, for image clarity enhancement and noise reduction. Lens Correction provides tools for correcting defects in many camera lenses. We have some presets for this supplied by Adobe. You can choose the lens manufacturer and lens model here. The Effects panel has a few tools for changing the look of your image, such as vignetting and adjusting the grain. Camera calibration for use on camera raw images. We won't go into this in this module, but we do advise that for any new images, you ensure the process is set to 2012 current. Lightroom 4 will automatically default to this, but older versions of Lightroom may show a different date. Whatever version you're using, always ensure it says current in brackets. At the bottom, you still have the toolbar and film strip. If you click on the arrow at the right of the toolbar, you can choose what options you want available on this toolbar, like flagging, rating, etc. You can see how they appear on the toolbar. This completes the overview of Lightroom and you're now ready to start importing and editing your images which will be covered in the following tutorials. Get more from the Open University. Check out the links on screen now.